そうだあのねちょっとね歓迎の意味を込めて日本のダンスを踊りますね。ジャパニーズダンスね。ちょっと訳して。ジャパニーズダンス。行きます。行きます。あトトンガトン、トトンガトン、セットトンガトン、トトンガトン。あボブボブボブボブよう来たなボブ。Okay. Okay, drama queen, let's go. I'm not a drama queen. Am I, am I a drama queen? We're both drama queens. I mean, let's not even pretend. Oh, yeah. I, I get, I've got flashbacks of the ladybug. A fair. You're certainly a drama queen. Like, oh, ah! That was legitimate. It had weird eyes. No. Its eyes were just. No, I wide. pick up a ladybug every second day and they're very sweet. That's a concern for me. <laughs> Something in the. Some scent I give off. Yeah, ladybug.、Um, what's the opposite of repellent? Repellent.、Uh, um, bring pellent.、Um, bring pellent. Attract a pellent. Dropellent. Dropellent. Anti repellent. We'll just Magnet? Call it. Ladybug yeah, magnet. Ladybug magnet. But welcome back to Life Lessons in Film, and today we will be making sense of life through Lost in Translation.、Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Bill Murray. Bill Murray. And, and ScarJo. Scar Does she go by ScarJo now, or is that kind of like a derogatory thing? I don't think she goes、thing? by ScarJo. I don't even know if that's like what the haters call her, or if that's what the lovers call her. I feel like the lovers call her that.、Okay. I feel like the haters wouldn't, wouldn't come up with a term of endearment. Yeah, that's yeah. true. That's they true. would just call, like say. That thing. <laughs> Brief synopsis: You've got Bill Murray's character and Scarjo's character find themselves in, in living in Japan for a couple weeks for different reasons. Bill Murray is an aging action star, and、uh, his manager, his agent, got him to do a bunch of commercials for a type of whiskey over in Japan. And,、uh, and then Scarjo is with her husband, who is a photographer.、Mm -hmm. And、uh, so she's spending time with him there. So they find each other、uh, at one point in the bar and they become friends and kind of spend their, their time as they are lost in life, basically. <laughs> the movie goes through as they spend some time together while Scarjo's husband is, is busy and Bill Murray's wife is busy with the kids at home and、uh, their marriage isn't going so well. So they kind of find friends in the least expected of places and then they part ways. And... And、it is perhaps sad. I, I, I really felt, I felt like I wouldn't know what to say、yeah. about this movie. I like the film. There's things there, you know. Like yeah, a, like、I、it like, covers things like the themes there are like a, infidelity, infidelity, friendship, friendship, cultural differences. Yeah, cultural differences. How to navigate that.、That's、you know what I said in my notes. Yes. Let me see. Yes. My heel still hurts. It feels like I have an internal bleeding, but it's like a scratch. Like, you know how you like scrape? Your heel, but、We're、it's just internal. Put those you on can't. Facebook Marketplace and move on yeah, with our lives cause you, cause because you, you don't want to. You don't want to get rid of the shoes. I've been telling I, you to get、I、rid of the shoes. I have these shoes that keep scraping the inside. It skips the outside layer of my heel, so there's no physical. You can't see that my heel is damaged, but inside it hurts. We'll sort it out, okay? So, themes that came up, yeah, fidelity or、mm. infi infidelity.、Yes. What is infidelity? Could you say that、mm. these two people. Were they being infi infidelities? Were they being in infidels? Infidels. <laughs> <laughs> why? Why can't they be infidels? You know what I mean. Themes that came up: infidelity,、yeah. existentialism. I guess. Yeah, kind of on both their ends. Yeah, there's a bit of a an ennui of life that they're both experiencing. Exactly. The movie、yeah. has a lot of weariness in it. So we know that both of them are in a place where they're not necessarily they're not happy with their marriages,、yeah. uh, potentially unhappy with their life. Yeah, yeah, questioning themselves and、yeah. their lives and their choices.、Mm -hmm. There seems to be a frothy. <laughs> yes. Connection between、yes. these two people. They have this kind of understanding, this unspoken understanding between the, between them, and they just get along swimmingly. In the movie, they don't really talk about it. They don't question what is it this、yeah. this thing between us. You、yeah. know, they can see it, they understand it, they appreciate it, and they revel in it. I feel drawn to this connection,、mm -hmm. and I feel like throughout the movie, I just feel so good. You、yeah. know, I think the way that they connect with each other and interact with each other, it's very, it's it's just very fun,、mm -hmm. very light. Yeah. In one of the scenes, she says she's from New York and then moved to. LA、mm -hmm. for the husband's job,、right. but then she's like the husband says that she's too snooty.、Right. So I imagine that things started to kind of maybe fall apart when they after they started after they got married. The people that he's working with、mm -hmm. seem to be a certain way, and it kind of seems like he's that way too.、Mm -hmm. So maybe it, it wasn't the case before they got yeah. married. Yeah. 
um, you start to see the person you're mm -hmm. with um, after they get when you guys get married, which I have heard that before. I've heard that when people get married, then, you know, you're kind of like, oh, now you're trapped. <laughs> you can't leave. It's just too hard to leave mm -hmm. a marriage. Divorce is a beast of nature. So you're just going to stick it mm -hmm. here with me, you know, and then you just kind of like, here are my true colors. Now you're stuck. You're mm -hmm. trapped in my prison. I've heard that people say things like that. You know, it wasn't like that before you get married. I'm not really sure if I agree with that per se. We've talked before about people with their masks and some people will really keep their masks on even when they are in an intimate relationship with someone i guess and eventually they start to starts to fade away just because they can't keep it up forever yeah. i guess and then the person's like oh that's that was actually a mask you were wearing but or you as a person yeah. may not necessarily um see like a, yeah. there is that fact of us seeing what we want to see right yeah that's true um so maybe they weren't actually putting a mask on but the person just wanted to think or believe, wish that the person was different. Yeah, I don't know. But like yeah. the point is, this is the situation in this movie and yeah. we are still kind of confused about like what to talk about. <laughs> well, um, I, just, I want to talk about the infidels. Okay, yeah. Do you think they were infidels? I mean, I think the infidelity comes up where most uh, palpably, yeah. where he cheats on the wife with that woman who sings. Okay, yeah, he was infidel. Yeah. He was definitely Unfaithful. Inf infidelous. Yeah. yeah, he was infidelous. <laughs> yeah. Shadows painting our faces, traces, romance in our heads, heaven folds in our hands. I got it. But who's she? I mean, I don't really know. It's really hard to, yeah. to say, but. One thing we know is that there are feelings. There's a flirtatiousness. There, there are feelings. They understand that there are feelings. Again, they don't talk about them. Yeah. They go hang out after he cheats, right? right? And she's like, well, is it because she's older? I mean, obviously you guys, maybe right. you, you were both born in the 50s and then you have stuff to talk about, about like growing up in the 50s right. and stuff like that, you know? And so she's clearly upset. Yeah. And the dinner isn't, the breakfast isn't great. You could talk about things you have in common, like um, growing up in the 50s. Maybe she liked the movies you were making in the 70s when you still were making movies. Wasn't there anyone else there to lavish you with attention? I'm switching to beer, okay? Later they meet, just kind of like, they don't delve into how, why it wasn't great, but mm -hmm. they, she just says that was the worst breakfast. Yeah. But the idea of it is like, there was this, that tension where she's yeah. upset and he's upset. Yeah. He, I think he's also, obviously he wakes up upset with himself. Yeah. Yeah. It's never a good thing too. I never felt like, okay, well the wife has been mean. The relationship mm -hmm. between him and the wife yeah. is clearly very bad. Yeah. But I don't think that ever condones anyone mm -hmm. um, yeah, doing which, that. Like at the end of the day. Which, she, is, which is why I think he felt. Very bad. Himself. Yeah, yeah. felt bad about himself. Yeah, yeah, he did. He did. I would say on both their ends, especially him, because mm -hmm. it just seems like the relationship with him and his wife has been going on, has been kind of sour for a long time. Mm -hmm. The way that they talk to each other. Because remember in one scene, she's like, how is marriage basically or something mm -hmm. like that? How is it after some time? Yeah. And he's like, well, you know, it, it's hard. Uh, it, at first when they weren't, they, we didn't have kids. Things were okay, but mm. then there, she, the wife used to travel with him for yeah. work. Yeah. But then the kids came and she didn't need me anymore. She yeah. didn't need me to be in LA anymore. And yeah. the kids aren't her priority. And so now the relationship is where it is, which, yeah. I mean, we don't have kids, so I don't really know how that kind of works, but just kind of seems very drastic, mm -hmm. uh, a drastic change from what they yeah. had before to that. Yeah. And I feel like a lot of the times you can see in this movie, you can see Bob asking very tacitly, expressing dis his discontentment towards yeah. the wife. She um, doesn't pick up on it. She doesn't pick up on it. Care. But at the same time, I'm like, even if she doesn't pick up on it or yeah. doesn't care, he's not clear. No. That's the issue I kind of had yeah. where I'm like, tell your wife the issues yeah. you have. Yeah. Things like, um, I feel like we should start, I want to get healthier. Mm -hmm. I want to start eating yeah. better, less pasta. And yeah. she's like, well, maybe you should just stay in, in Japan and yeah. eat it. And it's it's kind of like, they're not, he's t they're talking about the relationship, but they're not talking about the relationship. Exactly. Him wanting to be healthy is more like, I want us to be better again. There's so much stuff built up between them that they can't really communicate in that open way anymore. So there's a lot of that indirect or kind of negative or kind of like, they'll say something and that'll already set the other person off and they'll just keep setting each other off more exactly. and more, you know. Do I need to worry about you, Bob? Only if you want to. Bob, I got things to do. I gotta go. Okay. I'll see you. I mean, I'll talk to you 
talk to you later. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. Okay, I'll talk to you yeah. later. Like, yeah. what is this? Yeah. You want to yeah. talk to me later and yeah. so we can fight some more? Yeah. But yeah. like passive aggressively? Yeah. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. I feel like them living, uh, spending time in Japan could be more of like a metaphor for them both being lost in their lives in that period of time, right? It's just the setting is different from what they're used to. And then they're kind of in this limbo state. They're both staying at a hotel room. They're both kind of unsure why they're there, but it's not even so much why are they there on that vacation or that trip, it's just why, where are they in their lives, both yeah. of them, you know? Because she is thinking, you know, I want to be, clearly I want to do something creative, I want to be a writer, but I don't really like what I'm doing, and I, I feel like maybe I got with this person who also seemed creative, but we're clearly very different people, you know? So she's like, I'm, 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 I'm not sure about that, and then why am I even here with this person that I'm not even sure I have a connection with? And then same thing with him, and he's thinking, you know, why did I, I'm, I'm stuck in this position now where my agent suggests and, and maybe I either can't say no or, or I, I want, I'd rather go get the $2 million, but it doesn't feed my soul. I could have been doing a play somewhere, but instead I'm doing this commercial yeah. that is just eating me up and I, it makes me drink every night while I'm here. And I just hate my, you know, my situation, okay. just lost in life. It's a, they're, yeah. they're, they're both searching for meaning again, I think. And so I think the thing that draws them together to each other as well besides probably some kind of sim a similarity that is unspoken mm -hmm. is the mutual experience of feeling lost and not having anyone to confide in mm -hmm. i think both of them yeah. um don't really have people to confide in to yeah. confide in in the way that they both need mm -hmm. there's that loneliness and then need to be able to yeah to connect and yeah. to Find and that's where I'm like, is this to. really a kind of cheating movie? Because I feel like sometimes, you know, the people that you can meet people in your life and they can have a lasting impact on your life. And even if you don't necessarily stay in touch with that person, right. but they always stay with you. Yeah. Something they said yeah. or the, a moment you shared, you yeah. know, unexp unexpressed yeah. feelings or whatever, but they yeah. stay with you for whatever reason. Yeah. In that case, I'm like, you can meet those people married or not. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. But just because you meet someone like that, who you're drawn to in that way, in that special, unique way, is there is there an issue here? I didn't really feel that. I mean, I they think, do kiss. Yeah, well, that's why I think with for Scarjo's case, I think Bill Murray straight up just did, but uh, with sleeping with the other woman. But Scarjo, yeah. I think it was borderline. Maybe you could say emotional cheating or something. Instead yeah. of just saying to the husband, like, can we just take some time off? Because at this point, she already clearly just wants to spend time with this other guy. So emotionally, she's already... She's uh, over her hand. Like she's, yeah, that's fair. You know? yeah. So there's that. But also, yeah, the kissing at the end, you're kind of like... But if it wasn't even for the kissing, I would say it's borderline. But it is... it is. You could say it's it's not necessarily cheating, but the infidelity in terms of, of like just basically doing what she would be doing with her husband with someone else, I guess, right? Mm -hmm. if that makes sense. No, I totally get it. And it's it's such a tricky thing, right? Yeah. Like when whenever they're, they're, the physical aspect of cheating is removed, yeah. it's, it's, it becomes very complicated mm -hmm. to assess infidelity. Yeah. But emotional infidelity is very real, isn't it? I think so. Yeah, because... A lot of times that's what starts the physical infidelity. Exactly. Yeah. The lack of physical intimacy, the fact of what how lonely these people are presented to us and yeah. what we see before yeah it's really tough right because you can let's say you know a friend of yours is going through some some stuff within mm -hmm. their relationship that kind of thing can kind of sometimes you'll see okay well they're coming from a really tough spot right. you know what i mean yeah and then you make excuses for them when they mess up because they're like what they're going through some tough stuff right so okay yeah he cheated okay here they are having this emotional infidelity but to be fair both of them are going through some like a, yeah. a, a bit of a crisis in their own marriage yeah. so who else are they going to turn to they don't yeah. have anybody yeah you know what i mean yeah and so is that fair i don't know it's very interesting i wonder mm -hmm. if sofia coppola did this on purpose because i'm like you have you present this really sweet the mm -hmm. sweetness between mm -hmm. these two people mm -hmm. and behind the scenes yeah. there's all of this there's this huge mess mm -hmm. you know what i mean yeah. is it to kind of make people perplexed or to see who's going to assess this movie in a certain yeah. way it also shows you that people can have a sweetness to them when they're there and then there's this whole mess of the life that they have back home yeah. or something, you know, like everyone kind of has that. When you meet someone, you don't see all the trails of fire and 
and debris that is <laughs> right behind me. You know? That is so true. Yeah. At the end of the day, it's so much easier to meet a stranger and just talk about stuff. I think it's because you're ne you're not necessarily, I think the reason it's easy is because you're not really invested in that relationship yeah. or there isn't a lot to lose. You just met yeah. this person, you don't really yeah. know each other. It doesn't go well, you know, yeah. we'll see them again. Exactly, and you can be honest, right? Like whatever you feel about stuff, yeah. or you, you, you can just unload, right? Mm -hmm. Because you're what you said, the fact that they don't have this trail of, yeah. they don't see yeah. what comes before, what yeah. came before yeah. this the time you guys meet. Yeah. And so I can say whatever I want to say, and you don't know like my backstory because if maybe I share I shared something like that with my wife as Bill as as Bob in the movie, then she'd be like, well, yeah, but you say this, but it doesn't it doesn't align with what you've been doing in right. the past. So right. much more accountability. But with a stranger, with somebody you just met, you're in a in a in a place that's foreign, and yeah. you can be whoever you want to be, yeah. or you can present yourself however you want, even subconsciously. Yeah. It's not even to say that yeah. these people that's are right. a certain way, yeah. but like there isn't really any delving yeah. into you know, like the nitty gritties of yeah. their past. Yeah. You just they just present certain different things, little things that they're going through in the present yeah. moment. Yeah. And there's never any questioning on either of their ends mm -hmm. as to, well, how did you contribute to that? Yeah. You know, why are you here? You're when your kids are gone like why do you think your your wife stopped yeah. coming to you know these places with you yeah. what did you do yeah. it's it's really complicated life i guess you know mm -hmm. i guess this is the thing with the movie that you see yeah how complex life can be because mm -hmm. not even just life but relationships mm -hmm. people um, the relationships you have with people very tough yeah because what happens when you do meet a person you meet a stranger and they're this profound being. Mm -hmm. You don't necessarily pursue things, right? Mm -hmm. Because I, when they leave, they don't exchange yeah. contact no. details. They both no. understand that this isn't going to go any further. Yeah. We should just, this is, we have this moment and that's it. When you have that kind of encounter, what do you do as a human being? Because then you have to grapple with the morality of it mm -hmm. as a married, as a married person or a person in a relationship as these two people are. What do you do? Especially when things aren't too good with your situation. You know what I mean? It's hard. Human relationships are probably the hardest thing the situation that these two people find themselves in, both ScarJo's mm -hmm. character and Bob's character, it is not the the husband or wife's fault. Yeah. The ones, the, the people that aren't no, really no, present in the no. These two people are in a relationship. They're yeah. not, you know, yeah. their husband or their wife yeah. is not in the, they aren't in the relationship alone. No. And so where their relationship is, is, you know, both of them are, mm -hmm. should be held mm -hmm. accountable. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I do. Maybe we're catching them at a point where like they're kind of, coming to a point of disillusionment with their yeah. lives, you yeah. know? I'm out. I've, I've, I've shot my, my six shots from my Smith & Weston. I'm working for... It's a Smith & Weston. And you've had your six. But yeah, when, you know, there was some stuff that uh, we reflected on with uh, Lost in Translation. But what, what do you guys think? Have you seen it? Are there things about it that you thought about, noticed? Yes, no. The interesting thing though about this movie, I'm sorry. Like, I think the reason yeah. I like, I think the reason I'm so conflicted here is because we talked about the morality of these two people's relationship yeah. and emotional infidelity. Yeah, I'm conflicted because this relationship that they have, I love it. Yeah, I love their relationship. You well, know, maybe like maybe they seem to. Huh? Maybe it's beautiful, but a little uh, infidelitous, a little flawed. That's okay. It's complicated. Morality is a hard thing to pin down. I'm going to I'm gonna get back to work and you're going <laughs> to let us know what you guys, you know, share your thoughts. Please yes. comment down below yes. and share your let thoughts on our thoughts. Or just share thoughts. Share, share let everything. us know what you, what came up for you yeah. with this movie. Let us know how your morning was. Um, Do you have bacon with your eggs? Let us know. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Anyway, until next time. Goodbye. Goodbye. That's a wrap. <laughs>